Hi everybody, this is Robert here again with more River Training and we're going to continue our MEP exercises. Uh, in this exercise, we're going to learn how to create spaces. So spaces are a predefined room from the architect's model. As we see here, we have a linked architect model here. And really the first thing you want to do is you want to check here once you see you have the architect's model linked in, which is uh, what this blue box is here we have here. So uh, all we need to do now is click it. We'll click this box and we'll highlight our link model and then we just can you see click it here and click out. So we want to click it again and then we're going to go into edit type. And once we're in edit type, we where where it says constraints, room bounding, we want to select this box so that our rooms can be picked up from the architect's model. There's some uh, free programs out there where you can have these rooms uh, automatically placed in your model, but we're going to do this manually for practice. So we'll say apply and OK. And let's just take outside here now. So first thing we want to do, we want to be in the analyze tab, and then we'll select space. Now, if I select space, I'll pull my space down, and I have these spaces here. And since we have our room bounding on, we can go into this space, and there you see we'll pick up that room. So let's just pick up a few rooms here. We have this room, and then we'll go and select Office 1 or Office 2 and our Office 3. Now, sometimes these rooms can be predefined from a schedule. So in this case, we're doing this manually. So sometimes you can pick it up and it'll t also say the room. So now we have our rooms uh, spaces placed. And now spaces are basically used to uh, hit modify to get out of this. So our rooms are basically placed for analyzing HVAC and electrical systems. So we need our spaces. And sometimes in most, they should be the same as the room name in most cases. So now what will happen here is once we have our room space in place, we can go and select on this tab, just double click it, and we'll call this conference. And we can say this is 101. And we'll collect, double click on this one, we'll call this office 1. And we'll do the same here. We'll room the real name is 102, actually. And we'll select this one and call this Office 2. And we'll rename this number to 103. And we'll select this one. This will be our Office 3. And we'll double click this and we'll say this is 104. So that's basically it. That's how you create spaces. We did this in an earlier exercise. We just want to review this. We want to do IMEP. We're going to cover uh, zones and, and um, next we'll work on our, our, we'll do our zones and we'll do separators. So thanks for watching this video. It's just a short quick video of how to do spaces. So thanks for watching and um, like this video, hit the notification tab when I do more videos or subscribe. Thank you and until next video, bye.